Hey, I'm KIC, and welcome to OSA. Oh, crap. I think that was a planet that just got hit by the Death Star or something like that. We're, we're not in the Star Wars universe, but you know what I mean here. Let me be nice and move my cursor out of the way. Ooh, look at that. That was helpful. Look at that. Anyway, this is a brand new game. This is from Cloudburst. They have been kind enough to provide me with the key that we are playing with today. And I'm just going to tell you, I know the game is called OSA because I asked. Now you might look at it and it looks like it says O-E-S-E, -E, but O-S-A, that is how they pronounce it. So I'm going to go ahead and use their pronunciation because that seems like the polite kind thing to do. And they, you know, since they gave me the key. It's not a whole lot to this game on the outside, but it's kind of once you get going that you see there's a little more going on than you might otherwise think. So let's see, let's just kind of dive right in here. We have a Commodian ship. You basically get three options. This game is turn-based. You might notice in the upper right-hand corner, there is a tag about the distance. This is how far we have traveled through space. We're trying to survive. We're trying to basically find somewhere to go. We kind of need a new world or a planet to go settle on. The way the game plays, you basically have three options, an offensive, a passive, or a contact option. So offense, obviously, we're going to attack. We're going to fire missiles at the Commodian ship. That's how you get your power back. Passive, we're going to be peaceful, might try to avoid it, might even request ship repairs. And contact, we might communicate, land on the planet if it were a planet, or trade for a crew. The way the game works, you need crew to do stuff, so we're going to communicate and ask for crew, and they gave us five crew members. So hey, good for us. So up in the top left corner, you see the number of crew. We have zero out of 55 available. That means zero to assign to either military, diplomacy, or general ship purposes. But we have a total of 55. You can see I have 10 in military, 30 in diplomacy, 15 in ship. And we have a Xenerian ship now. I haven't even begun to talk about, oh, everything that's on there. Oh, they reject your attempt to make contact. They fly away, jerks. There are a variety of different species, races, alien peoples we're going to encounter. Oh, look at that. Here's another one. An EAA-99. We're going to just contact right now because we need more crew members. We have enough power that we don't need to worry about power right now, so that sounds like a good idea to me. And we have this little thing flying in behind us. I don't know. It's like a little satellite dish, something like that. A little, uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm, I'm not, I haven't made it far enough to figure out exactly what it is. Now, see, the last time the Xenerians did not like us very much. Let's try again. Nope, still no good. Apparently, I need more diplomacy. You left me behind. I didn't leave you behind. You just didn't catch up. Move faster, and then, you know, it'll work. You discover a sun. It can provide a lot of power. We don't really, um... You know what? Let's try it. We're going to shoot a rocket at it. Shoot a missile at the sun, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, you might be damaged a bit. Rule one of robotics is to keep away from explosions. Yes, we will discover his name momentarily. I do know it, but I'm just not telling you yet. So we have a Solarian scout ship. We'll try and communicate with them. They find us threatening and offer a crew member, but report our presence to the Xenerians. So let's start talking a little bit about these different species. Right up here at the top, we have the Zen, Xenerian and Solarian. We have the UUF, that would be the United Universe Federation, which consists of the Onyxian and the EA-99 peoples. We have the Tech peoples, Loxodontin, and then we have over here the TRD. It's the Essians and Commodians. Thus far, they've been nice to us. So here's the thing. You look at this, it says the Zen, they believe the glorious Cenarian race is superior to all others and that all other races should be slaves. So right off the bat, you know, they don't like us very much. But then it's this right here that is the intriguing part. This faction offers one of three warp coordinates. Ah, but then this faction also offers one of three warp coordinates, uh, even though they like everyone equally, which uh, is cool. I like that. I'm on board with that. The tech uh, races should mix. No races should mix, and they should each remain to themselves, developing their own tech. So they're very uh, exclusive, but they also have one of three warp coordinates. And then over here, these guys also have one of three warp coordinates. Let's just um, fly on by. There we go. You fly past the sun. The extreme solar energy charges 30% of the power on your ship. Look at that. We're up to 94. That's good. Power is, uh, power is necessary. If you run out of power, you're going to have problems. Let's just kind of fly on by. Oh, they didn't like us. People on board Space Station have data they want to protect. 
they fire at your ship. Your shields are damaged by 15. That's not good. Again, we, we kind of need stuff to be good. Now, if we go back up here, let's see, which ones were you? You were the Essians, master of traders and businessmen. Prefer to talk, but they will happily attack if provoked. So we're going to be cool. We're just going to talk. Look at that. We got three crew members. Now, up here at the top, you might notice that there is something that's flashing that says new item. This would be the inventory. These will become available as you get diplomacy up high enough. Now, presumably at level 30, diplomacy, you can get warp drive, and presumably if you have the warp coordinates, you can, uh, I would assume, win. I haven't gotten that far. This game is really challenging. Like I said, on the outside, it looks like it might be kind of simple, but there's, I think there's quite a bit going on in the background that's not necessarily uh, as easy as you might otherwise think. So we have a scrap metal planet. Let's go ahead and here, let me do Android right now. And I'll explain what that does in just a moment. So we have a scrap metal planet. And if we do contact, that is the option to land on the planet. So there we go. Or request resources in this case. So we got some more power. That's good. We are back up to 100% basically. I guess I'm more damaged than I thought. Yes, you're not doing well. So remember, Zenerians and Solarians, they didn't like us very much. So we're going to go ahead and bump up um, let's bump up Diplomacy. I, I still think Diplomacy is a good option. Maybe that's the Star Trek fan in me. They find you threatening and offer us three crew members. Well, that's good. That's a start. Let's go ahead and kick up some more of those guys. So Android has charged. If we look at this, it says PW minus 10%, CR plus 30. So there we go. That gave us, it took 10% power. So we went from 93 to 83, but it gave us 30 more crew members to distribute as we see fit uh, on Nixie. And that was the UUF. They like everyone. So we're going to communicate with them. We do not impress them. However, we got three crew members and they expect to be on, they expect us to be on their side of conflict occurs. Interesting. I don't know what that means exactly. We'll go ahead and contact them too. See if we can get some more crew members. We got 13 of them. Now we are going to need to at some point here, power is going to keep going down, and we're going to have to presumably... Ah, oh, look at that. Creatures on this planet are hostile. They ate three of your crew. Well, that's crappy. We are going to have to get more power back, and at some point, we are going to have to engage in battle. Space debris. Um, We'll just kind of fly right through it. Oh, look at that. We found some useful tools. Shields are repaired by 15. That kind of takes that... or fixes the 15 from... Uh, I guess we should probably work on that again, shouldn't we? Let's let's get that charging up again. Locks a daunt and uh, that looks nasty. We're just going to talk to them. Cool, we got two crew members. Let's go ahead and assign them. So this guy says, have we met before? My memory drive took a big hit and I can't see a thing. He still hasn't given us his name, but I know it. Another Oxonian, Oxin Onyxian, there we go. I can't even pronounce it, ship. Remember, those guys like everyone. They're they're cool with trading in general. Android has charged. I'm not going to use that right now just because we are getting low on power. We encounter an ancient Solarian vase. Let's go ahead and contact it. That means we're actually going to collect it. Look at that. So here's the deal. You might notice now that we have some numbers under here instead of just zeros. We, co we collected that Solarian vase and the Zen group is appreciative that we didn't destroy their history. So we have actually gained one point in terms of our relationship with that faction. Not to mention we have one point over here with the Essians and Commodians too. So these guys, again, remember these guys, the UUF, they like everyone. So we're going to contact them and uh, we're not impressing them, but we got three crew members. So that's a good start. That's not too bad. We'll, we'll take that. Now at some point here, things will kick up a little bit. We're still kind of in the early part of the game. And we'll go ahead and contact that base. We'll collect that. That's going to give us another point on our faction relation. So I'm not sure how far we need to go, but um, we're getting there. We'll go ahead and contact them. They find us threatening and offer six crew. That's cool. Let's go ahead and put them into ship for the time being. That's theoretically going to get us higher shield power. So space is pretty big. Yes, it is. Take a while to find a new home. You can call me Milo. There you go, so now you know Milo. We'll contact this guy, and they only gave us three crew members, but that's okay, again, we'll take it right now. We need we need all the crew members we can get. 
problem is, again, we could hit this one to get 30, but ooh. Um, let's try passive just to see. Here we go. They recognize your diplomatic skills. They offer to repair your shields by 40. Not bad. Problem is, we still need more power. That's good, though. We, we got some more shields, so that is absolutely a good thing. I'm going to go ahead and try passive with these guys, too. Ah, and they repair our shields by only 15, but 15 is still better than nothing. So again, I'm going to take that and say thank you. Ah, civilized planet. I like the music. I'm listening to the music in the background. Sounds cool. Um, let's go ahead and try and land. Okay, so we got five more crew members. This might be harder than we think. No kidding. Not a lot of planets are right for us. They either have oxygen or too many bears. Yeah, too many bears. That would be bad. This is a Loxodontin farm. Ooh, do, 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 do. Um, let's try passive for right now. They're kind of jerks. There we go. We got some more shields, so... That's a good thing. We're getting up there. Problem is, we will need more power in very short order. I mean, we are getting really, really close here. Go ahead and contact them. There we go. We got six more crew. That's good. I'm going to throw them toward... Actually, you know what? Here, let's put them in diplomacy. We're about at the point that we got a new item to unlock over here. And I don't really want to open that, so... Oh, man. We can't... Loxodontons, you're not really... Hmm... I'm kind of getting desperate here. I'll go passive for one more turn. They recognize us as a friend. Ah, oh, I'm going to stab them in the back here soon. Ship repaired by 38. That's good, though. Solarian ship. Now, these guys are cool with us, so I don't want to screw that up. We have two points in that faction, so I don't want to mess that one up right now. So we're going to be cool with them. We are not going to shoot them. But I'm waiting for something else, like another sun... Or a star cube. I don't know what to do with star cubes yet, so let's go ahead and shoot it. Ah, look at that. We got some we got some power out of it. Good deal. It absorbed the missile, but it did emit electrical waves that allowed us to repair our ship a little, or recharge our ship. Hey, what was that? I don't know. What do you think it was? Let's go ahead and contact these guys. Look at that. We got 35 crew members. That is fantastic right there. That is a big, big bump. That is really good right there. We're going to go ahead and put them into ship and military. Volcanic planet. Um, that sounds dangerous to land on. Okay, nothing happened as we flew past the planet. That's kind of a shame. I was hoping maybe we would absorb some sort of volcanic eruptions or something like along those lines to uh, maybe get some additional power. That would be really nice. An ice planet. Let's land just for giggles here. Ten of the inhabitants join your crew. All right. Good deal. Something feels different. Am I zero percent? <laughs> ah, yes, you are zero percent. It'll make sense in a minute. Dark matter. Uh, let's avoid the dark matter. Ah, oh, crap, but it damaged our ship anyway. Hello. Hi. Hi, Milo. How's it going? And a cargo ship. Now, this one, you'll note, doesn't have anything written about who or what it is. So, you know what? We're just going to fire a missile. Ah, crap. And everything's destroyed. I was hoping we might gain some power from that attack. Uh, not so much. Sorry, cargo ship. Uh, oops. My bad. There we go. 35 more crew. That is good. And let's, um... Yeah, that looks pretty good. 69, 83, 79. Not too, not too shabby. Space debris. We're going to go peaceful here. All right, now we're getting close to the point where we have problems. We are in kind of the last stages of the power we have available. Yeah, this is where it's going to get ugly. We're going to contact them. We got seven crew from them. That's good. Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to hit 3% power, 2% power, 1%. And eventually our ship is just going to kind of stall out. Now, if we're lucky, we're going to get a little more power back. Dang. There we go. We've run out of power. I think percent I'm missing a drive. Yes, I think you are. I'm sure you'll be zero percent. 
gravity shifters, huh? Look at them. Let's try and contact them. There we go. So they decided to join the crew. Now, we got a little bit of power back, which is a good thing. Uh, faction boost, power boost. No, we need to get power boost up. That's really the key. So let's put everything into diplomacy for right now. And let's go ahead and go passive on them. That way we can get some shields repaired. The idea here is we want to keep our shields up as high as we can because we are going to be losing power. You need a Nick percent name. Now you know, it's supposed to be a K. And diamond tree, oh crud. These are not cool. It's unusually alluring. Ah, crap. You fire at the tree. It seems to have some sort of supernatural power over the crew. Ten crew members kill themselves. Ah, that's lovely. Yeah, those things are terrible. A war-torn Zanirian ship. Now, that's interesting. Let's contact them. Ah, look at that. Our faction relationship has gone up because we aided the damaged ship. All right, good deal. Now, I didn't see it actually go up a point, but... Just the same. I feel like that's a pretty decent start. Uh, let's go ahead and contact them passively. There we go. They fear you and repair your ship by 37. Not bad. Not bad. We're going to run out of power here again momentarily. And again, this is where it starts to get really icky for me. And I'm not quite sure what is going to happen. Well, that's kind of a jerky move to make. I thought we were cool. And they, they decided to just shoot at me. What's up with that? That's that's not cool, man. A crew in cryo sleep. Let's go ahead and contact them. We defrost the people and they join. Wow, we got quite a few. Not bad. Let's go ahead and put everyone into diplomacy because we have 30 power and our shields are going down again a little bit. We're actually in a pretty decent spot. There we go. Let's go ahead and do power boost. Encounter a power sap. It feeds on power to repair things. Uh, we don't need to repair it, so let's attack it. Look at that, we got 22% more power just from attacking that thing. And then our power boost item here is slowly charging up. And I think by the time that hits 100%, we are going to be able to use it and we will get a good chunk of power back. Let's contact the water planet. We got three amphibious humanoids who decided to join the crew. That's pretty exciting. We'll go ahead and put them in the military side of things. And I think that's where we're going to go ahead and call this one an episode. Right there with another diamond tree. Oh man. Uh, let's just do the diamond tree. I don't want to wait. Crap. I tried it again. Exact same outcome. Uh, live and learn. Anyway, this is OSA, and we will be playing a little more of this one, so I will catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.